everybody, welcome back. Um, I gotta own up. We we lost our little streak there really early on in the lost run. Um, with that I randomed, uh, and was also, well, random on the randomizer, and was also just like, it wasn't like it was a bad video, but I died like five minutes in, and I'd thrown a pause in, because I had to like, go handle some business domestically, and like, you know, it, it, it's just, dude, that was a scrap, basically. It happens once every 50 runs, it's just a scrap. We're gonna randomize again, we got the lost Mega Satan. Sure, okay, sure, yeah, um, that's fine. I mean, there's like 40 characters in the game so like when you random and it gives you the same character like it, it, it it's not impossible it should happen about 2.5 percent of the time um but that's okay we're not sweating it we'll, we'll have some fun here uh having a good time in spite of that and you know why i'm having a good time we uh we want to slay the spire run today i know it doesn't happen too often i apologize for the spoilers but we did win a Slay the Spire run. Uh, it's not a typical occurrence for me. It's like a once every 10 runs sort of deal. Uh, so, I'm gonna take it, man. Oh, I am very tempted to just Alt F4 this one and start over, but I'm not going to. Because that's the pain. Remember, pain is weakness leaving the body, right? I'm sure I heard that from someone problematic once. That's not an illusion, like A-L-L-U-S-I-O-N. I, I genuinely... I'm sure I probably heard it in, like, Full Metal Jacket or something like that. Anyway. Um, but So I'm, I'm on Cloud9, kind of. Except for the Tears Downgrade, I'm, I'm kind of on Cloud9. I think... Here's some controversy for you. I no longer think a Tier 1 Orbital is worth the take. I think you, you re-roll it. We're happy to have the Tears upgrade. I'm, I'm very, very pleased about that. Mega Satan is uh, deceptively much more difficult as the Lost than the other endings because it does require us to skip that first deal with the Devil. There's very few ulterior means for you to get to uh, a win. Uh, really, just to get through the door uh, of Mega Satan. If, if you don't have Dad's key, you're pretty much stuck uh, getting the angel deal. So not not getting free devil deals is a little bit of a slap in the face. So, you know, it's, it, it makes things substantially more difficult, but we're still, we're, we're out here. We're doing our best. Anyway, there's not much else to say. I don't know, I don't know what else you want me to say about it so far. So we'll, we'll see how the run develops. It's been a good week so far. What's today? Today's Wednesday already. Oh my God. I've been playing so much WarioWare, man. Like, Yesterday, I, I, I opened the stream with a game called Ling Your Language, which is a... It's a game that... It's, it's more of a... I mean, it is a game, but it's it's more of like a an, an application. And we'll, we'll not take our tears down here. Great news. Um, when you take all, all the bad pills, uh, there's only good pills remaining. We're not quite at all the bad pills yet, as you can tell, because we just got Are You a Wizard? But um, anyway... Uh, it's, it's, uh, let's not even call it a game so much, you know? You, you hear the voice of a person speaking a language, and then you have to multiple choice select what language it is. On easier difficulties, it's not so bad, you know? I, I am unilingual, which is not impressive. <laughs> it's close to the minimum. Um, but I, I recognize, you know, I, I think I do okay at recognizing most, you know, Western European languages. Uh, Spanish and Portuguese I get a little confused with, which is embarrassing after all the time I've spent in GeoGuessr, and especially considering how often, or how frequently, or widespread Spanish in particular is, you think I'd be able to make the distinction. Uh, but, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd be wrong. But, you know, German, French, English, obviously, I'm pretty okay with. Italian, uh, they, like that's okay for me in terms of the degree of difficulty. Um, but once you get into the higher levels of difficulty and you're trying to delineate like two different uh, dialects of Arabic uh, or like Norwegian, that's where things get mighty, mighty spicy, but it's a very fun game. Uh, and then I think I learned something as well. And then after that, I uh, I played. I expected to play like an hour of WarioWare. That is not how that went down. <laughs> we played three hours of WarioWare, and I and I lost my mind. But I had a wonderful time while I was doing it. So there's, you know, 
Well, it was it's a lot of fun. Interesting. Okay. Um We'll buy a key here. For sure. It's kind of tempting to get greed sack. I think we You know, work with me for a moment here. I really thought we were going to get a secret room here. 11 cents. Okay, we'll try Planetarium Chance. Oh, we get a little extra money and a key. <laughs> okay, we're going to buy the key anyway because we get... No, we're going to buy this because we get stats. Okay. And then... I roughly understand how to fish for what I'm looking for here. I might not be perfect, but we're going to try. This could be it. On the right. Yep, 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 yep. Ooh, baby, you're making me crazy. You're making every time I use my key. And then you say, every time I use my key, every time I, every time I use my key. PhD is not bad, man. That means we got to tears up now in our uh, curse room. And all of a sudden, we're off to the dang races. Would you look at this? All we needed was an incredibly, potentially, situationally useful item from our uh, secret room. This is like a 1 in 80 chance. Anyway, um, sometimes people, I, I don't get into these arguments anymore, and, and I know what, why you're going to say that I don't, but just hear me, uh, that's obviously not a secret room, hold on. This is obviously not a secret room. This is obviously our secret room because it has no red door outline. Sure. Um, but sometimes people get in the argument, you know, is uh, WarioWare a good game? People don't want to discuss that too much. They, they seem to be like, yeah, obviously, I... I except that it seems like a very, very fun time. Um, but then they want to discuss, like, endlessly whether or not it should be $60 or $4 or $25 or, you know, $375 or whatever. I get it, okay? Games are... They can be pricey. I mean, I don't. we don't need to get into the discussion necessarily of, like, you know, I was paying 110 bucks for Super Nintendo games back in... 1996, because, like, I don't know, do you expect costs to go down over time? Uh, due to digital distribution being a thing, you no longer have to, like, print and ship all these games? Or do you expect, uh, prices, to, right, okay, uh, to go up over time because of inflation, or do they balance out, or, you know, the more people buy something, should it cost less because, you know, you're, you're capturing a broader audience? Look, that kind of discussion to me is just, like, resolutely extremely boring I'm mean, it if, if you're into it that's fine but for me I'm just like I'm like a good game is a good game if, if we're talking about the difference between you know 15 and 30 and 60 bucks you know it's it's more than an academic discussion don't get me wrong yeah I'll, I'll, I'll re-roll nothing into nothing um, but I think my, my personal take is there's I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna get me in trouble here. There's so few games out there that are fun to begin with that uh, to pay 60 bucks for one of the rare gems is like a dream come true for me. I don't, I don't mean to suggest that most games are bad. I'm merely suggesting that uh, the price is not what's holding me back from playing more games. It's more so. This is probably a secret room then, huh? Nope. All right. Well, that's what I get for being cocky. It's more so that I just find... not. I, I would say definitely the majority of games on Compelling, but I don't mean that as a flex. I, I still feel like when, when most people think of the majority of games, they think of like, um, man, I wish I could afford some of this stuff. You save it for Lil Keeper on the next floor. <laughs> Lil Keeper? Keeper's Elbow is what I mean. You'll, you'll spend... You'll be in a better position as a result. And then this is a secret room for sure. But, um, I, yeah, I'm not flex. I'm not saying, like, ah, Ghost of Tsushima, I sleep. I'm saying more like, you know, if you if you looked at the percentage of stuff that comes out on Steam daily, like I do, and then you asked yourself honestly, is there any chance you're going to play this? You'd be surprised how often, or maybe you wouldn't, but I, I think you would acknowledge the answer is no <laughs> for the vast majority of it. I, I'm a, I have very peculiar tastes. I'm a man of unconventional tastes. Kind of like the guy from uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, Christian Grey. But instead of being into, you know, like like whips and chains and stuff like that, I'm more like, 
I only want mechanics. Please, only video game mechanics, please. Just the mechanics for me. Hold all that lore stuff. That's probably a second secret room. But I'm not sweating it, man. He's mad, but he ain't stressing. True friends. One question. Where were you when I was streaking? Now I run the game. Got the comment section squeaking. King Eggy. Everybody want to cut the hair off him. Okay, you shouldn't have done that. This this could all go up in smoke. I, I want to use my bomb. But I don't want to use my bomb because we need to blow up an angel statue if we get one here. It's good though. You're, you're doing great. Keep them at a distance. I treat pestilence like... The feds, feed like mushrooms. Keep them, uh, feed them crap and keep them in the dark. Mark Wahlberg. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll take a perfection. I'll take a cube of meat because I have no choice anymore. Um, I'll take uh, this cool candle. And then let's fight. So, we get. I, I remember. I, I've I've made, not mnemonics, but like memory devices to understand what's going on here okay the candle is gives you a tears upgrade every room that you defeat up to a maximum of four rooms good good intel brain you know what we already found our special item room on this floor let's just keep it moving i think this is this is prudent for us sounds good to me I'll look. I'll look. I don't want it. I looked. I looked. Okay, we don't want it. There's nothing for us in there. Hmm. Onsus is a uh, very useful. The gaz purges a curse. I'm just gonna use it because I think having like an extra red key is kind of interesting. And by kind of interesting, I mean immediately transformative to our overall run. I don't know how deep we want to go in the walls here. <laughs> Cambian? Oh, that, that, this is actually kind of bad for us. Um, Im Immaculate Conception. Well, I don't know. It depends on whether or not it allows us to uh, get red hearts. Or uh, to, to pick up... Let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. If it allows us to pick up spirit hearts uh, and count them towards Immaculate Conception, then it's not so bad. Because we're not doing anything with our spirit hearts anyway. In all likelihood, I really doubt that's the way that it's working. Dude, when, when we get the candle popping off here, like, this is actually pretty good. I mean, like, we're, we're sitting at a 5.58 rate of fire. That's nothing to sneeze at at all. We're about to get what I would consider to be a nice damage upgrade. These cannot be the secret room. Don't ask me how I know. It's just like, I've just got it locked in my head. I, I looked at the picture. The picture made sense to me. We're not going to get 100% of these. We're going to get some of them. Similarly, I think this is... I, I don't know if we can even get a second secret special room, but we're going to try. Um, we're about to get a nice damage upgrade from whatever our, our shop... I don't know. Again, it might work here. Whatever our shop feels fit to provide us with, just remember you don't want to use bombs. Uh, no, thank you. No, you know what? It's a little spicy, but with with our high luck, I think you gotta give it a try, just for just for humor's sake. <laughs> so prepare yourself for the the sounds on this run. It's it's gonna be action packed. Also, when I get out, there's going to be Carnage. Woody Harrelson. Beautiful. Okay. Just check. Don't want to use our other bomb. We really wanted pills. Actually, okay, so we don't want telepills, really, but we do it. We have PhD, so pretty fly. Full health. Full health. Something's wrong. Health up. I can see forever. Friends till the end. Telepills. You've telepills me to a room I don't want to be a part of, but that's okay. Health up. Pheromones. Health up. <laughs> I can see forever. You mentioned that part. 
Um, okay, I mean, it's good. This is like, it, it's certainly not bad. I don't really know where we go as like a, as a, as a gamer from this point onwards, but it's certainly not bad. We got pheromones, we got telepills. I don't think we care too much for telepills. I wouldn't mind holding two trinkets. Our other trinket makes spacebar items not show up. Yeah, or show up much, much more rarely. Seems good to me. 6.45 damage. Feeling very solid. Now, of course what we wanna see is an early deal with the angel, beating the odds immensely. That's fine. Uh, it didn't happen in case... Ooh, the red poop, be careful. It didn't happen, but that's still okay. If we just get a, an angel deal that allows us to leverage our, our current situation for devil deals. Because we, we need to get that, uh, that second key piece. But after we get the second key piece, like, the world is genuinely our oyster. This run is actually kind of amazing right now. What the heck is this? Um, Book of Virtues is a given. A given. Given. Not very good, but a given. Do we care about number one at, at the colossal loss? Why would you do this? This is amazing. Um, I don't think we take number one. And by that, I mean I'm gonna take number one. Um, because... I think, actually, our range seems totally fine, for one. Um, how, how could I not, right? I think we're capped out, but still. This is a little, a little wild. And this is why you don't hold R. <laughs> when, you, when you get a tears down pill, if you ignore the way that causality works, it could have cost us some serious entertainment value here. I think if you're looking for another secret room, and again, I don't know if we could even get one, but it's much more likely to be adjacent to here than it is to be adjacent up there, so. I'm hoping that the, the wisps from Cracked Key are kind of cracked themselves in a different... Uh, I mean, Cracked Key, I don't know, they might call it Cracked Key because it's, like, so good that it's cracked. Maybe that is the... Maybe that is the reasoning for the name. I don't know that. So who am I to suppose? Don't worry about that so much, just, just go with this. That's pretty solid. We did get a deal. Our deal has the Mitre, which I think is is truly useless for us, unless it works with Immaculate Conception, but even then, not worth too much. But what the heck happened there? Soul of Judas. Pop this. This could work. It didn't, but it could have. I, I mean, I'm just happy to have Broken Modem, right? I really do want to make Boss Rush. I don't think it's like the most important thing that could possibly happen to us, but I, I think making Boss Rush with a Teleport card would, would royally hit the spot. We can now do deals with the Devil as well. It's increasingly dawning on me that we actually have a very, very good chance to be completely fine. And it, it, I mean, the Lost is not impossible to begin with anymore, but anytime you get the chance to really take it to the next level, I'm just going to be like fully open and transparent with you here. It's 10.32. Start streaming at 11. We don't have to put in such an absurd degree of rush that, like, we need to embarrass ourselves. We are going to put in a small rush here, uh, at least when it comes to ignoring things that are not th th that important to our overall uh, objectives. What the... Like, and this is another good reason, honestly, because that could happen. We got a little lucky there. This is not ignoring things, by the way, but <laughs> but that's okay because I'm having a good time. Having a good time. Much better rune, yeah. There's a shooting star and an MSM and Lady Godiva. <laughs> you guys ever go to Laura Secord? 
It's a Canadian thing, okay? So Laura Secord was a nurse in one of the world wars. I apologize. Hmm, I don't remember which one it was. But, um, she would, uh, she's involved in, she's a, like a war hero, and then later she somehow became the face of a uh, uh, chocolate shop in Canada that you find in like every single mall in the country. I don't know if it's still really around, but let me tell you, I think that's, when I think, here's a, a good banter topic for you. What are some, st if you grew up in, in the mall era like I did, what are some stores from the mall that you never went to? Excuse me, we should be able to hold three trinkets now that said plus one trinket slot. Um, Laura Secord, I don't think I ever went to in my entire life. When I went to the mall, there were a few very popular destinations for me in particular. HMV, um, which is a, a British record chain that also was open in Canada. Uh, I always love to sort through the music at HMV. Maybe buy a CD. If HMV didn't have what you were looking for or you just needed to kill some time, you go upstairs, you go to Sunrise Records. Uh, after that, Electronics Boutique, I mean, is a given. Even if you don't want to buy a game right there, you're going to be stoked. Uh, just to just to be there. Maybe Sometimes they had the N64, the original Xbox setup. So you could just maybe play around for a little bit. What do you got for me? Algis. That's a pretty great one for me to not poop on. But rather for me to hold for life. Whoops. I don't think we're going to make boss rush. I don't think we're going to make boss rush. We're going we're gonna to still give it a try. But um, Immaculate Conception. I'm watching my familiars every time I pick this up, by the way. No, thank you. Um, following that, then it gets a little dicey. I mean, the food court was always clutch, man. I don't know if anybody else is in the same era. Or, uh, I mean, I lived in a very... Well, let me be honest, okay? I lived adjacent to a reasonably sized city of like a hundred and something thousand people. But where I grew up specifically was, was mighty rural. I think we actually... We can't say no to our shop. No, we, we, we genuinely can't. We could go get the fool card really quick and then try. Ooh, it, there's no risk. There's no risk. I think we can beat the boss in 10 seconds. Hold on. Forget that earlier anecdote. Please, please. What the? Saved. It's open. We didn't get a deal, which is good. We're going to Mega Satan. We'll take our damage upgrade. I, I kind of can't believe that we managed to make it happen. Um, all of this is, like, horrible for us. So, uh, give me big fan, I suppose. Anyway. Um, that was, like, the, the food court was one of the only opportunities that I had as a child to actually eat Chinese food. And uh, I, I think that it's to this day... Probably the origin story for me uh, going to bat for like crappy mall Chinese food where like the the orange chicken tastes a little bit like shoe leather. I really like like North American Chinese food. I know it's not that rare, but I, I feel like it's in in our generation, especially you know if, if you're a, a, an urbanite, you know you find yourself. Sometimes having to be like, you know, oh, P uh, P. F. Chang's is so bad. Oh, gross! They would never eat that in, you know, Shanghai. And I'm like, I believe that that's fully true. I believe that they probably would not eat this, you know, traditionally in Shanghai. But I do also believe that it's a little freaking delicious. So, get off my back, Buzzfeed. What am I exploring for? Oh, we, we, you know what? We should actually, we were exploring for our shop. We should actually just buy it out. That way we get the maximum uh, bonuses. We, we do have 25 damage. Man, the, I'm realizing how good the candle is as, uh, as the lost. Like, what a, what a slapper. We're in such a good spot here. This is like, I'm laughing. And then there's some stores in the mall I never went to. I never got anything engraved at the engraving stands. I don't think I ever used the photo booth. I Oh, I forgot to mention, I mean, if you're Canadian, 
I mean, you if you didn't rush into, like, Zellers as a kid, which is like, it, it eventually became Target up here and then immediately went out of business. Um, for, for reasons that I don't fully understand. I would love to watch a Netflix documentary about that. Because, like, Zellers was a, a department store that was, like, pretty okay. It had, a, it had a restaurant in it that served a mean club sandwich. Uh, and then it, became, it got bought out by... It was going through, like, distribution or something. It got bought out by American Target. And then as soon as it opened up here, it was like it became a warehouse just full of, like, amiibos immediately. It lasted, like, less than a year. But I don't... I, I think a lot of Canadians are like, you know, it's just... It's yet another reason that, like, separates us from America. They're like, down there, Target's really popular, but up here, we wouldn't stand for it. When really, like, anytime I'm in the U.S., anytime I go to a Target, I'm like, this this seems perfectly fine to me. I mean, I, I'm not sure it's a place where I would go to do all of my grocery shopping. Um, or, or something like that, but you know, in a, in a, to, to buy large quantities of snacks, if you, if your uh, clothes got lost in transit to go there, buy a couple of shirts at the Target, I mean, it's just like a Walmart, basically. I, I would go a step further. I would actually say I have a, if you asked me on a brand survey, how do you feel about Target? I would say mildly positive. There's some stores that I, I find miserable to be inside of. Sears is like, if you ever find yourself in a Sears in the 2020s, like, it's it's just pain to be in the vicinity. Like, there, there's a certain cursed energy that permeates through the walls. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, you know what? I've decided don't hang on. We're moving on. <laughs> I was gonna use some some cracked tea to fish around there, but um, but Target, I don't mind being I, I I maybe associated with with being you know on vacation or something like that. So there is that, but I certainly wouldn't suggest that I I have a bad time uh, inside of a Target. So you know if you want to use this in a sponsored some spawn con for Target, then by all means. But I, I, I would love to, to, to listen to a podcast or a Netflix show about why Target didn't pop off here. Anyway, never got anything engraved. I don't think I've ever been inside of the store uh, called Claire's where you get your ears pierced. There's also a lot of stores that were just like, hey, we sell like clothing for ants. Not, not you know, the insect, but like the, the relation. And those were like, you know, as a child, you're... <laughs> you know, you're not going into Reitman's too much. You're not going into La Senza. Kate's going off. She's like, La Senza! I'm trying to hear what she's saying through the wall. I believe she's saying that was... The, I think she said that was the business when I was, uh, when I was going to malls. La Senza? Yeah. Don't quote me on this. I feel like the founder got arrested for, like, uh, super bad crimes. <laughs> like, like kidnapping and, and more, maybe? Or human trafficking or something? No, again, don't quote me on that. I don't want to get sued for slander, but... this Everything I just said, when, when I said it, I meant that it happened in Minecraft, not in real life. It was in Minecraft. <laughs> oh, it, it it reactivated part of your brain. Yeah, Licenza. It's. Uh, I mean, I never went inside of it. That was always the place where, like, if it, did, did the baby say Licenza? Oh my God, her first words. <laughs> Licenza. <laughs> When, uh, it was always a place, like, when we went to the mall, like, I just wouldn't go in. Like, if my mom was like, I gotta go to La Senza, I'm like, I'll just, I'm gonna hang out on this bench out here. It's lingerie. Oh, there, there is a La Senza kids store as well. Which I know sounds strange, but... Oh, the, the adult one is definitely a lingerie emporium. 
Bread from Lacenza Kids? Hmm? Ah, she's like, I want some Lacenza Kids. Oh, that's like a little luxury styling. They put the clothes in a box when you buy them. That's, that really hits the spot after you buy four pairs of jeans for $32. It's like, let me put that in a nice little box for you. Uh, we, we could leave and then pick up multiple items, but none of these actually matter for us except this one right now. So let's, um, you know, you should grab this one. And then, Revelations, by the way, I don't think I need to tell you. That was a pretty sick pickup. Metal Plate is kind of a pretty sick pickup. Um, my Shadow doesn't matter at all, so... I, I, as much as anybody else can't believe it, at 26 minutes we're fighting Mega Satan here and I am, I am just loving life. We really need to be careful. We do have Broken Modem, remember that. We have, we have to, and Continuum is just slapping it for us, dude, but we have to be careful because if you take damage early, like this whole thing could run into some danger. I'm not saying it's even close right now. But it, it, it could, the, the earlier you take damage, the more that unforeseeable chance of oblivion starts to, you know, appear in the middle distance for us instead of on the horizon. But um, we should probably just pop algae's right now and then, oh my god, are you seeing the holy light? <laughs> the holy light 10 luck, oh my god. This is uh, obscene. Okay, that was one of the easiest Mega Satan fights I've ever had, and I'm so happy we didn't chuck it in the bin after that tears down grade. Look at that. Hey, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!